man, we still haven't gotten to see what it looks like when they've got him and Durant and Brad Beal. But just having Booker back has uh, has, has turned to them immediately great. The Phoenix Suns. Mm, they've now, been incredible, dude. That Booker it, game winner on Sunday. That game, okay. he's getting doubled all game. Oh, my God. So I saw him Friday night and or Friday during the See, day. It was actually was Black even, Friday. He was even better on Friday. Uh, Kevin, last year, I remember coming on this podcast and I told you the best game I saw in person by an offensive player was Damian Lillard. I walked out of the arena and I was like, oh, my God. Like, there are some times when you can see, you know, it's always different when it's a a, a, a big guy and a, and a perimeter player. When you see a perimeter player at, like, absolute peak of powers, it is awe-inspiring. And mm-hmm. I saw Booker go 25, uh, 15 for 21. From the field. He shot like 75% from the field. And they're not dunks, right? Like you see Giannis or Jokic or whatever. Like maybe Jokic does it a little more degree of difficulty, but there's a lot of guys that if they go 15 of 21, it's not the array that you see from Booker. Not only that, he was the only guy to worry about on their team. That's when you know you've crossed into like, superstar territory is when you're the guy on the top of the whiteboard. Everybody in the arena knows you're the guy. You're the one that you've got to deal with and you still can deliver and not only to deliver, but deliver like that. He was uh, freakishly great in the game. And uh, I think I read this morning that amongst players that have played over 20 minutes uh, on average, that he has the highest net rating. They're outscoring their opponents by 15 points per 100 possessions. And that's simply with him on the court. When Devin Booker is playing, his team is winning by 15 points per 100 possessions. And I believe they're eight and one since he came back and seven in a row. And Durant did not play in the game. So that's why I say everybody in the arena knows you're the guy on the other team. And, man, we still haven't gotten to see what it looks like when they've got him and Durant and Brad Beal. But just having Booker back has uh, has, has turned to them immediately great. Eight and one, I believe, since he came back, and they have now reeled off seven wins in a row. You have always been uh, president of the Devin Booker fan club. And this is, he is at like peak of powers. I I, I don't know what kind of, I don't know what kind of odds you could get on MVP for him right now. But I mean, we're less than 15 games into the season, Kevin. I'm telling you, that's the best guy I've seen in person. Well, let's take a look at those MVP odds right now. On on the FanDuel Sportsbook, he is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth highest odds at plus 2,600. Yeah, that's a behind, good long shot. <laughs> behind Kevin Durant, Shea Gildas Alexander, and then the typical names up top, Giannis Tatum, Embiid, Luka, Jokic. Those feel like pretty good long shot odds. They really do. Because oh, this yeah, guy I mean, is He's unbelievable. got the best net rating in the league. Yeah. And I'm I mean, watching like him Sun, play with Aaron Suns. Gordon or Eric Gordon and uh friggin' uh who else was out there? Grayson Allen's out there. And it's like, I mean, it's not it, let's just say it's not a who's who that he was out there with. And he Kata, just, Kata beats Diop. I mean, yeah. you know, Okogi and Goodwin. <laughs> it's yeah. I mean, like Nerd. Booker Booker, like I look, I've you know, I've always been a Booker guy, but who could have seen him turn into this level of player where he's averaging a super efficient almost 30 points per game. He's averaging nearly 10 assists per game with low turnovers. He's creating like not just simple shots, but high degree of difficulty shots for his teammates. In my article 
this morning on The Ringer, I, I published my power rankings and I had a stat in there about the amount of assists uh, points that Booker is generating this season at 23.4, I believe, off the top of my head uh, per game, which is like double what he's done in recent years. 24.2. He's a, his assists are generating 24.2 points per game this season, up from about 12 the last three years during the Chris Paul era. So double. Um, it's far higher than his career high in the, the pre CP3 era with the Suns. He's generating shots at a high level. He looks like a more seasoned playmaker. Cause don't you remember like pre C pre Chris Paul when it was like, yeah, Booker's got too much on his plate. Uh, he's more of a score guy. They need a point guard. I remember I was in Phoenix for, you know, I was, I interviewed Frank Vogel. Um, I'm trying to work on a Suns thing. I talked to Vogel preseason and I asked him like, are the, how are these guys going to sacrifice touches? How much are you going to run your offense through different guys depending on the best matchup? And he's like, no, Devin Booker's our point guard. He's our point guard. He's the guy who's going to run the show every single night. And I was like, hmm, interesting. And that's exactly what it's been ever oh. since, that Booker's the point regardless of matchup, and he's the best player on the team. And he's thrown on that headband. And you know, some of these games, like <laughs> I said, awesome. these last couple, he hadn't even been playing with Durant. Like, you do have to think, Kev, and, and there's always the caveat of these guys and and their health, and you have to bake that in that they may not be able to, you know, remain healthy, especially through an entire stretch run of the playoffs. But we always have to project, like, what if they could? And I'm sitting there going, uh, what if when he drives in, he's whipping it out to the corner, and instead of Kata Bates Diop or Grayson Allen, that's friggin' Bradley Beal. <laughs> he generates the wide open shot for. Uh, and that's you could see how, man, if that thing came together and they were ever I, I mean, we're this far into the season. We we still haven't seen them. And all I'm saying is if they're Freaking, what are they, third right now, I think, in the standings? I think they're third or after the seven-game win streak. They're already third, and they haven't had those three at all? Mm -hmm. At all? I and, know. not at all. Yep. And, and, and they win games without Durant? Just sheer, or just, just Booker coming back has turned them awesome. Yeah. And that's when you know he has changed because it's like, geez, man. You'd figure in this in, in in this day and age, like they need to have two of them. They need to have they they need to have uh, you know at least Durant out there with him. But I watch him do it without. He's just playing with a bunch of dudes, and uh, just great. He's absolutely great. Yeah.